Nick DiPaolo is the host of the Nick DiPaolo Show. He joins me now. A lot going on this weekend. How do you think this is going to shake out, Nick? Well, in full disclosure, I am black. Um, <laughs> let's start with that. <clears throat> How is it going to shake out? I can't believe we're even having this conversation. Even if he was 48 with the crap job he's done, it's insane anybody would vote for him. But, and as far as, what, what did uh, Charlemagne say? He's not even a, a main character energy. He couldn't be an extra in Porky's 2. <laughs> his, his speeches, Jesse, his speeches are so uninspiring. The last one he gave, the White House had to send out grief counselors <laughs> to the 10 people who saw it live. And uh, this is the first uh, flag day I can remember where I actually saw Republicans and Democrats lowering the flag to half mass in their front yard all over the country. And I, I'll, I'll give him one thing. We, I'll, to be fair, there's a, couple, there's a few people he inspires. Like, I'd say, the, the, you know, the mentally challenged, uh, the crazy, mentally ill people, they look at him and go, the guy's lost his mind. He's got the IQ of an avocado pit, and he's a lead in the free world. We can do it. And also, I'd say young gymnasts he kind of inspires. <laughs> Why? See an 82-year-old guy do uh, three somersaults and four cartwheels down the stairs. <laughs> uh, you know, and he's, again, in his late hundreds, you're going to get excited I about I mean, that. no one has Other ever fallen that, up I the stairs. I can't believe we're having this discussion. <laughs> and what's frustrating is we can't even yell at him because he's not making any of these decisions. No, and he couldn't hear it if we did. I want to play some sound right. of the view, Nick. These are the people telling us that Joe Biden should not debate Donald Trump and listen to the reason why. Go. I don't think I need to see someone who has been twice impeached and is a disgrace and a one-term president with 91 counts facing him. I think it legitimizes him. I don't need to That's be true. gaslit by Trump. We all know who he is. We all know what he stands for. We also know that Biden debated him twice and just, like, sort of mopped the floor with him. If Biden flubs, yeah. they'll go, be all over him. If Trump flubs, if he doesn't well, show who up, cares? Be okay, there's not going to be a debate because Biden might flub. Might flub. He's not going to be able to find the studio. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, I can't believe it. They keep, they keep calling, you know, Trump's going to be the dictator. He's got 91 indictments. All this stuff is baloney, number one. Number two, they're backing a guy who's trying to put Trump in jail. And they keep calling him the dictator, Trump. I don't know if they believe this, Jesse, or, or they get paid to believe it. I can't believe you got the view to talk without food in their mouth. That's the first clip I've ever seen. <laughs> when, uh, when, <laughs> when Charlemagne the God, and we have to call him that, that is his God-given name, the God. When Charlemagne the God goes out and says that <laughs> he's not inspiring and, and the Democrats do this every time, Trump's a threat, they've demonized every Republican, and now no one believes them anymore. Is how worried does the God sound? I think the God is more upset about the, the crack from Biden a year or two ago when he said, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. That doesn't fly well on black radio stations. I tried it a couple times on the road, and I was asked to leave. But look, I'm still here. I'm on your show. <laughs> okay. So, um, how, hey, how about Colbert melting down? Yeah. Jeez, he's freaking out so much. That even when they put the camera on his audience, they look a little depressed. I, I saw happier faces in the waiting room at Sloan Kettering. They do not, <laughs> they're getting scared of him. He's like, a, he's like a robot that blew a gasket. Nobody knows how to shut it off. And uh, John Oliver's lecturing us now. Please go back to the UK, John. <laughs> he, he's, he said he's going to pay Cl Clarence Thomas a million dollars a year if he quits, if he quits the uh, Supreme Court. I was going to say I'd pay John Oliver a million dollars a year to quit comedy, but then it dawned to me he hasn't tried it yet. Yeah, very good, Nick. I think if Trump becomes president, he might get <laughs> deported. We're not encouraging any deportations of John Oliver. We would never do that, but he could be on a list. I will. I'm not on Fox. I don't I'll represent Fox. I'll say it. Okay. Right. Dictator on day one, John Oliver, right. back to England. <laughs> Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.